fresh. Fresh is all I gotta say about this episode. It felt so fresh, fine, amazing. And reading the comments, people didn't even mind the CGI dragon because it fit. It worked out. The fight was intense. It was interesting. It was a good build up. People had the reasons of wanting to fight this dragon for atonement, for letting go, to save someone, to prove something. This fight had worth. This fight had value. And so seeing every strategy and struggle felt completely worth it and satisfactory just to see for what this team had to go through. There's nearly impossible odds of facing this dragon compared to the tourists. This is only one of the great beasts that we're supposed to fight, which is the phoenix. This is just a dragon, but this dragon compared to all the other beasts might feel way more important and personal for what it means by that. You know, you have the new character, Windia, who feel like she already belongs on the team with her own backstory and shocking revelations and her connection between her and Ren. Ren's dullness of wanting to be a hero going to slay the dragon only be used by the villagers so they can take the dragon's treasure, killing Windia's father, corrupting him into this destructive creature where Windia, we all thought she could have took in this vengeful um, path, you know, get some vengeance on Ren and just want to let the dragon run amok. But instead, we have Windia who just wants to say goodbye. A Windia who wants to not to think of her father that way, but see the father that she grew up with, not this destructive beast that was before her. And I'm like, wow, this is so strong in a way, you know. In some stories I have read, it goes that way, where they want their vengeance, they want to f someone to feel their wrath, what they are feeling, and completely destroy it all. But no, this child overcame such solid, but sometimes could be justified reasons, to, but for the sake of the one she loved. Like, I don't want my father to suffer like this anymore. I will not let my selfish desires of how I feel to get away rescuing my dad and as having to put him down. And that was, it was nice. And that's how I interpret it anyways. And Ren trying to atone for his foolishness, for him just going on about thinking of what he's doing. And finally realize that he may be in a different world where he has game stats, but these are still real people. Like when you go to another world, you're still dealing with those people. That world to them is real. So killing and just doing what you want is just a no-go. But he is finally coming to terms with that. And of course, the comments that you see the um, him and the Eclair shippers as well going on. Like, hey, they keep showing them together. I got nothing to say about that. Good on you. <laughs> and then the tiger, the tiger twins. Well, they're not tiger twins. We call them tiger twins, but but one is clearly the older brother. But the, the tiger siblings, I call them the tiger siblings. They are awesome. They're all mainly Atla. Atla was just yo man, that that finger technique man. <laughs> like she was throwing up our energy into one point, and it's strong enough to attack through the scales of a dragon. And her brother was strong enough to take down the barrier that was blocking him because her attack was one that was able to weaken him for a reptilian to give the finishing blow. This was nice. Well animated, down to the bone, baby. This was delicious, and I just want more of it, man. I feel like this has more attachment than season two had. Season two was rushed and it had its flaws. And I told my, I've been, I keep saying this, but I enjoyed some of season two, but compared to season three, it feels better. It's, it feels great, you know. It has a stronghold onto it, which I enjoy. You know, it's not throwing all the stuff at you at once. It's taking its time of doing things. Because of that, you're able to truly savor, you know, just to see it pass by, watching it, you know. It's not throwing so much at 
at you at once. Things are taking its time, which is good, really good, a good example for that. And because of that, people are enjoying season three of Warden Two. Now, people are also worried because of that, it kind of damaged his reputation where people didn't really watch season three as they should because of season two, which I understand. I mean, look at Devil's a Part-Timer. Both seasons two and three of that show sucked. <sighs> Ten years for nothing. <laughs> but here we are. Thankfully, this redeemed itself for most people. It was a very emotional, impactful episode. And a lot of people say it felt like they were looking at an episode that felt like it belonged inside of season one. And season one had a lot of emotional and impactful fights that were very personal. And there were fights that you just wanted to be there and see them to overcome for how this fight really meant to them, you know, for Artelia and her past, and Nafumi, and trying to overcome his trial that he was going through, and stuff, all that was great, in that, because you had a lot of people attacking from the left side, from the church, to mine, to the kingdom itself, all the fights felt warranted, and you wanted to see them overcome, and you didn't really have that in season two, they were just pushing around the world, and meet some new characters, and where it's People understand what's going on. But this one's completely different. He's defending his family, his village, his hometown, and because of that, it feels personal. It feels grand. So, that was great. And to see that the dragon the entire time, he just put his soul into um, Gremule instead. After rescuing him, oh, so you're not, you did die, but you transferred your soul into the baby dragon so okay that that's cool and of course feel feeling just been that's what feel is feeling right now feel was the strongest on the team you know no one could be her she was the strongest because she's supposed to be the next feel your queen man now to get captured by a dragon have all her new stash is drained out and then see this dragon just fly off of Nafumi. Feel is feeling type, some type of way, man. She's feeling very jelly right now because I would too, man. This iterating rivalry between bird and dragon is very interesting. So I'd like to see more of that. The two fighting see who gets to carry Nafumi around and stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. So all around, yes. Excellent episode, man. Oh, it sucks. I, I hope we get to more. If it continues this pace of this kind of stuff, it can carry on. If we do get season four, I'm all here for it, hands down, man. So, anyways, that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, of course, hit that bell icon. This is the background on anime. Signing out.